Seb and I are junkers, shoppers, and pickers. Every Thursday we show you some of the new finds that we have, some of the things going on at the shop, and recently we've started doing edited videos instead of lives. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. The first segment is gonna be all of our round top finds. The second part of it is going to be things that are handmade by us or by people that work with us. And then lastly, we're gonna show you all the new things in the shop. If you love picking and junking, make sure you hit subscribe. Our videos go up every Thursday at 4 p.m. to show you all the new stuff that goes on jrvhome.com. Okay, first up, I was showing you guys these little shoes. Jamie grabbed them because she loved them. They're, they've got like little dates. This one says 1872. What? Yeah. I didn't realize they were that old. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's a date. It or might just be a number. product number. No, that looks like a date, 1872, but they're really, really cute. I don't know what you need them for. Maybe make a wreath, glitter, vignette, whatever. Just cute little baby shoes. They were leather and they're $12.95 for the both pairs. The pot, this is a Jamie buy. It's very heavy duty. Uh, she loves anything enamel and rusty. And, and she grabs it. I don't know why I have time. this out, there's no comments. But if you're in live chat, comment because we're on here commenting. And if you're watching the replay, check out live chat because Mariah's dropping links. This is 1995 and I think it'd be an amazing planter. It's that, gonna look good in someone's garden or on their front porch. It's that quintessential like vintage green with all the rust and goodness. I couldn't let that stay in, uh, I think I got that at Bar W. So in case you guys don't know, Zeb and I went to Round Top about a month ago and we're slowly working through all of our finds and unloading the trailer. All right, next we've got this, $12.95, vintage accordion situation. It's got hangers on the back. So I was gonna keep all the French canning jars. I wasn't gonna share or sell any, but I wound up just finding spots for four of them. So these are the two that I'm not keeping. Um, this one is the smaller of the two, it's $39.95. Was this from Marburger? Yes and $59.95 for this one. And they ha they're green, they have like really, really wavy glass, um, and they are French green canning jars. They're hard to find. I don't know that I'm ever gonna get any more, so I'm basically selling them for what I bought them for because I, you can only keep so much. I'll show you guys a picture <laughs> now where you can see how I have them displayed in my home. Well, and you, uh, you know me, I love anything with like a lid that clasps, so mm -hmm. they're, they're good. Well, this one is like ow, thick. Don't put your finger in there when I'm Well, I, I was gonna just show you, it's like thick on the edge, which is a little unique. Yeah, it's little thick all the way around. On here. It's thick all the way around. Okay, next is our tarnished, tarnished? It's the tarnished. It's the tarnished collection from Round Top. This one is actually brass and it's nice and heavy duty. How much is that one? Is that brass? I can't tell. It says oh, brass. Oh, brass art wear. Okay, $19.95 for this one. All of the tarnished metal is gonna be in one collection with variants and I'll have letters on it so it'll make it easier. This is a candlestick, but it's not your typical brass candlestick. It's like super heavy duty. It's a functional, like, uh, I don't know, what do they call those? Carry to bed candlesticks. Yeah, I, I'm sure. Comment below. I'm sure there's a fancy name for them that have like the hook and things. But man, hiking around with a candle burning on that—it's kind of heavy even for me, and I can lift pretty heavy things. It's definitely something that's like it's super almost old. like a two-hander. <laughs> the newer brass candlesticks um, are not as heavy and well made. I'd venture to say it's probably European, but I don't know for sure. We can't confirm that. I can neither confirm nor deny. All right, twelve ninety-five for this. Play offering and this play, oh no, $9.95. Sorry, $9.95. $9.95 for these. And this one, this one has like some peeling off on it, but it's really cool. If you guys want to see the good close up pictures, make sure you're hitting up the website and checking them out because we have we took some really good photos of these beforehand so you could see all the detail and what's going on with them. Well, I'm not going to say really good. I mean, they're average. Okay, okay, we took, all right, we took some quick pictures and uh, you know. $9.95 for the set of brass candlesticks. These aren't candlesticks, these are napkin oh. rings. $9.95 for the set of brass napkin rings. So they just, this one's plain, this one's got a little bit of detail on it, but you know, mix and match, throw napkins together on here, on your plate, on your table, wherever you got them. Tell them about what this is. So this is an artichoke mold, and I saw it there, I'm like, what? It's not artichoke, that's asparagus. Oh, okay, asparagus. Art oh yeah, artichokes are the, okay. <laughs> asparagus, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, what on earth is that thing? So it's stamped, it says uh, CC, and then I went, and it's also got an 873 on it. Inside. 
Yeah, and so I went to open it up and check out the inside of this. It's Amsterdam, uh, Clatter and Jansen. It's probably like Claude, isn't it? No. Oh, Clatter and Jansen, yep. And it's pewter, and they're collectible. This one is gonna be $24.95. There's not a ton of this particular mold made by them, but it is a good one. It's an uncommon one. In case you need like to really up your mold game. This is good. You need to make chocolate uh, asparagus. Yeah, well, it's super heavy duty. Like, you just, oh, yeah. when you feel it, it's just got a lot of heft to it. It's weapon grade. Yeah. Okay, this is a little bit more delicate. It's a dainty cherub uh, spoon situation. This has kind of got a sad story. I had a friend that snapped in half in transit right I, here at the joint. Yeah, I went to wash it and it just broke in half. And this one is sturdy, so I don't know what that one had going on. It says made in Italy. It's stamped right here. It's cherubs, $12.95. Serve yourself some fancy fruit salad. Yeah, it's, well, are those cherubs? Oh, those cherubs are dressed. Yeah, they, they're dressed, unlike the new IOD transfer. That's a story for another day. All right. <laughs> this is from the Middle East. I can tell by the words on the bottom that I can't read. See? Yes. And it is 1995, part of our tarnished collection. So you have to rifle through all the photos to find the letter that you want to buy. They're all gonna have a letter yeah, or a number. Check the drop down. Is that plaster in between there? How did they weld this together? Which one is that one? Is that one have, that is porcelain. And I don't porcelain. know. Porcelain, man, they got crazy with it. There's also, yeah, these are all metal. Okay, so this one's 1995. These are teapots that don't have the top, but these are we use for vases. Silver plate. Yes. <laughs> Mother's Day is These coming. are all silver plate. And you know, some of them have more tarnish than others. We saw that a lot. 1995. Like, we saw that at Round Top a lot where they would, you know, they go in there and they kind of sh halfway shine it up. This one's got a couple little scuffs on it. You know, it's perfect on this side, not so great on this side. So if you're gonna use it, put the flowers in there, bam. No one needs to see the backside. All the high-end designers and booths have tarnished metal of some sort or shiny metal. Like they all, metallics are in every single Here, I'll show brass. you the scuff side, it's not that bad. Yeah, brass, copper, whatever, they're all in. Okay, so here's awesome. the copper one. It's my favorite. It's copper and brass um, over aluminum. It's all tarnished inside. $29.95 for this one. Yeah, it does have and a little tiny hole in the spout. Yeah, don't, I don't, I mean, judging by the inside of it, I'm pretty sure you're not going to try to drink out of it anyways, it's but. It's crusty. Don't drink this out is, of it. This is decor. It could be for April Fool's Day when you uh, pour stuff, it, you give it to somebody to pour and then they get it, it all It pours out the side. Yeah. It does. It's oh, silver it's, plate and copper and all kinds of things. I thought it had a maker's mark, but it just says silver plate. Yeah, so I think the silver plate's on this. Probably. And this is the copper. Yeah, it's, it's and good. it's brass on the bottom. It's all kinds of things. It's all three metals that I love in one pitcher. This is probably my favorite. It's a little short, a little squatty, and it's Do got like great me. legs. <laughs> short and squatty. Short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. All right, this I thought was cool. Um, I don't know what you'd put in it, but I was thinking if you could find little jars or something, you could put flowers in it. I don't $24.95. Know. It was cool, and it's definitely something that if you can find the size that these are, put something in it, that you could really create a one-of-a-kind piece. It is kind of like a lazy Susan here. It does spin yeah. all on its own. It's a like, hey, fancy server. You're like, hey, let me spin this around for you. Oh, oh, that one's out. Here you go, have that. It's for your caviar. I don't know what it's for. All right, you some. bought this one. I don't know where you got that from. Same place, the artichoke. Oh, yeah. And then you also, the hippo you bought too. All right, so this is just a great little bunny. I'm assuming chocolate mold. Um, it doesn't have a bottom. But it's got these, these handmade clasps. Yeah, there's no bottom on it. So I'm assuming you probably just like clasp it together, pour from the top, cut, and then you're done. But check it out. Boom, check it out. Molds are popular across the board. Bunny molds, even more popular. And this age is great on this one. Yeah, no maker on this one that I saw, but still good. $14.95. All right, next. All right, while he's putting that together, I'm gonna show you this. Back together. This hippopotamus that's $9.95. It's brass and heavy like a paperweight, and it's cute. This is why Zeb shows stuff. Do you see how far I'm having to lean to get it close to the camera? <laughs> there you go. Get it up there. Okay. We're done with the hippo. Next, 
while I'm over here. Did you already show these? I have not. So these are copper painted. I They're probably tin. Did you just push me over with your thigh? I didn't. My thighs are just so huge because they're getting bigger from working out. $14.95 for the set of these while we talk about Zeb's thigh. All right, show them this. I'm really excited. So I wanted this and they wanted too much money for it. So I'm like, Zeb, Zeb. And the, the lady was kind of grumpy. I was like, you go ask them. And Zeb did. He negotiated this awesome clock. I love anything equestrian. We plugged it in. It makes noise. We can't guarantee it takes time or yeah. keeps time. That's the one. Um, but it's $42.95. And I don't know if this is supposed to be blunt or if it's broken, but it doesn't feel sharp, so I think that's the way it came. No, that's that's part of the mold. They just oh, okay. zinged it off down what there. What is this made of? So this Cast is metal. this is I think it's actually brass. Brass. Yeah, but it's really tarnished. I wiped the dust off of it for you. But it's cool. Yeah, I it, love it. I love the clock. It just all this is just such a unique piece. It's beyond my uh, tinkering skills. Plug it in at your own risk. It's got a very old plug on it, but I would not plug it when in. you plug it in, you can feel it vibrating. So something's doing something. <laughs> Speaking of plugs that we're not guaranteeing you should plug in, let's show them the lamp. This was out of a fun pile Jamie was rifling through. It's a brass lily pad um, lamp. I would say it's a tulip style. We did plug it in. It did turn on, but the mechanism is broke. This so is I would broken. rewire it. Yeah, definitely I would rewire, rewire it anyways because that's sketch. Or, you know, just cut this off, do something fun over here, and have it be decor. It's cool. Yeah. I couldn't it just could leave it. It could be like a really fun hook on the side I of here. I don't know that that's That's an enough. enormous hat yeah. hook. A lightweight hat, maybe. That's a long span there. It's sturdy. It's strong. It. Okay, I think everything on my side. Oh, I got these. Oh, and a bell. $4.95 for the brass bell, and then I'll let, oops, I just hit my nose. I'll let you show those feet. Those feet I bought. I don't know why. So these are made, so they sit down on the ground, right? Or maybe they go like this. I can't they're remember. They're for a couch. Yeah, they're like risers for a couch. We thought they'd be fun to plant succulents in. They do have, maybe I can unscrew this one. Some of these are pretty, pretty tight. This, they have centers because they're couch legs, but you can get them out if you want to, and then you yeah. can use them as planters. And even the bolt is brass. Yeah, it, they're just too cool. I couldn't leave them. Oh, well, that's really wound in there along with Pretty ways. much everything I bought was, well, anyways, if you have some patience. We didn't want to, we could take them out for you, but I was like, what if somebody wants that part in there? Because it's original to it, so we're leaving it in. And they're $19.95 each, and we have four of them for sale. Most of the things we, we purchased are things I'm like, I can't leave that there. It has to come <laughs> home with me. <laughs> All right, we've got this beautiful bud vase. It's $19.95. It's got uh, tarnished and it says silver plate made and guarantee in New Bedford, Massachusetts. That's fun. We don't, I don't think we've ever had anything made from Massachusetts specifically. Not that I remember. All right, are you showing them the frame? I'm gonna show them the little tiny frame. It's got tons of great detail, $9.95 for it. It's a wee baby frame. All right, uh, that was a really bad accent, by the way. $16.95, and this, want to show them, I'll use your long arms to show them the rope detail. Yep, it's got a little rope around the whole thing, and then it's tied in the front on that. And this is a gravy boat, and you know why, I li why do you think I like this gravy boat? Uh, because it has the platter attached to it. And you can't lose it. I hate it when I find gravy boats and they're missing the plates. This one's attached, $22.95. So if you spill, you know. It's good to go. Yeah, it's already set. All right, let's show my big mamma jamma find. I'm not, like legit, it's heavy. Can you see how big this is in front of me? Jamie's like, how much did you pay for that? I'm like, it's huge. We've never found anything brass this big ever. And I love the ornate handle on it, the spout. I haven't tested it with water, but I think it would probably still hold water. So, ironically, I gave him a hard time about it because I was like, we're going to have to sell that for like $124.95, which is what we are selling it for. And then we went to like some of the bougie booths and they were like $300 for this style brass pitcher. And I was like, you done good. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> well, can you imagine, you know, you're just traipsing through your garden, maybe doing a little skipping. You got this fancy pitcher and you're like, let me just wander these plants over I here. I can see that. With an apron on, maybe? Uh, I'm going to go sand. Eliza apron. does <laughs> water the chickens every day with an antique French enamel pitcher. It's back there. It's yellow. It's back in the corner over here. And it's worth about 140 bucks. And we use it every it's day. It's just to water the chickens. <laughs> 
I was like, when you grow up, you can tell your husband. Well, when we watered our chicken, we only used antique French enamel. <laughs> it's just because it's there and it's what we use. All right, this is the last bit of our collection from Round Top today. Cute little uh, Dutch boy and girl. It's handmade um, on the little piece of plywood. It's 1995 and I just love anything Dutch. I don't know why. I just, it's cute. It's very festive. I, th I think it would go with anybody's Christmas decor or also, you know, just Valentine's like, Day. Yeah, just, well, I think like in the summer, like when you're getting your red Americana stuff out, I know it's Dutch. It's Dutch Arcana? Yeah, you could, you could use that. I don't know. We're going to show you the handmade collection. All right. A lot of the items that we sell are handmade and we are releasing the corbels on our website that we carry at um, JRV Home. These are gonna be available on pre-order, but we wanted to kind of show you how we finish them. We're coming up with a unique, more cohesive finish on them so they're all the same. And the first part of finishing these is going to be to start with DIYs, dark and decrepit, and then we'll finish them up with some milk paint. And then we're gonna come up with some fun designs for our new MDF cutouts. They're the same shape as our cutting boards, except for these are gonna be made to hang on your wall. So we're gonna breeze through this. We are just gonna get a coat of dark and decrepit, one coat on there. It's got a built-in sealer, so we don't need to seal it or anything. And then we're going to use this as a base coat. We're going to paint over the top of these and get our finished look on them. All right, so Jamie's milk painting these, and then she's going to pass them right over to me, and I'm going to heat gun them. We do this right after while the milk paint is still wet because that's how we get our best chippy crackle finish on there because the heat gun forces it. The milk paint might chip on its own, but we're not going to leave it to chance. We're going to make it happen. It's really hard on raw wood, and the other thing we do is we we wet distress and then we heat gun again and that helps. Okay, the corbels are done. We sanded them, wet distressed a couple of them to kind of force even more chipping. And I feel like they have that really good been on someone's house for a hundred years look. We're gonna be offering these. Um, if you order, like the first few orders will probably go out normal time period and then they're pre-orders. Because these are handmade, it can take up to 30 days to make more. So just make sure you know that and you're aware of that when you're ordering them. We have the Farmhouse 1917 Corbel. It's $99.95 and we sell these individually so you can use them as decor or you can buy a set depending on what your needs are. Yeah, if you have a bar that needs six of them because you've got a huge bar that you want to put them up underneath. They're totally structural. They will support shelving. We use ours to support a mantle with the Farmhouse 1917. We've got some under the cabinet. There's some back here under the hood. So, you know, we use them everywhere. Yeah, these are all over our house, that particular style. We have the Patrick's. So we get asked a lot about the Patrick's and the Oliver's. Online in pictures, they look the same size. So read the description if you're on the fence about them because there's a definite difference. <laughs> this is the daddy and this is the son. So literally this is Christy's husband and her son's name is Oliver, it's after them. So this one is $53.95 and then this one is $34.95. Then these are the Mariah Corbels. They're all kinds of detail, just like Mariah. She's all about the detail. This one's $43.95. <laughs> They'll all come finished like this from JRV Home. So a little story about these real fast. She called me up probably about a year, year and a half ago, and she's like, hey, I need some Corbels that I don't want them to look like everybody else's Corbels. But uh, so I custom designed these for her way back when, and now they're making them for a living. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shelf corbel. Um, this is a little bit different than mine. Mine is blue and green, but we're going to have all of our corbels with the same finish. And it's $24.95 for this chippy finish. These are the ones that are on our shelf right over there. there. I'll, I'll get some pans of that. We'll show you in a minute. These are the Lynn Corbels, $22.95. These are what we had on our kitchen island at the last house that we lived in, the same style. These are the Maddie Corbels. These are fun. I have a pair of these on my shelves here in the kitchen. They work great as bookends as well. So if you just want something to like complete a vignette. And then these are the Jacks. So we had these a long time ago and they were, I was hand cutting every single one and they were very popular and so intricate that we had to take them down because I just couldn't keep up with demand, but they're back. Yep, we've reformulated and now the CNC cuts them so it's alright that they have a lot of detail because the machine cuts them all good and then we glue them up and sand them and uh, paint them. Alright, now we have, you guys, we've got the cutting boards, right? Now we have the MDF cutouts and these are going to be our salvage farmhouse animals. So we've got the rooster, the pig, the, you want to show them up close, the yep. cow, 
And they're gonna come with a little hanging hardware on the back of them. So they're the same exact dimensions as our cutting boards. They're just made out of half inch MDF. So they're make quite a bit easier wall. to make as far as like pricing goes. Well, and they're also lighter. You yeah. wouldn't want to put something so heavy on your wall. And then here's the cute little sheep. So these are all the new handmade items. Like I said, they're on pre-order, except for the first few orders will go out right away because we do have some in stock. And then we'll make more and get them shipped out. Real quick while Jamie's grabbing these signs that we're gonna talk about in a second here. If you wanna do your own finish, you can pick these up at Jamie Ray Vintage, unfinished, also on a pre-order status still. But if you get them from us at jrvhome.com, they're gonna have this chippy white finish. That's how we're doing all and of And everything's gonna be slightly different because they're all handmade and milk paint does what it does. All right, so we're gonna show these signs that we made. Zeb and I stencil these. There's only one of each. They're $12.95. We've got the free range. We use the new JRV stencils that just came out. Keeley's ice cream. Organic bake. And a cute little lavender in a ball jar topiary. This says garden. And that's it for the handmade. In the shop, we have just loaded up all this amazing, beautiful glass. You guys know that I've loved jadeite. I've never been able to find it in the wild. To buy it, vintage is like $100 a piece. And I found a company in Ohio, they hand blow the glass, then they put it in molds and they make it just like it was made way back when. And this is the good stuff, like the actual glass, not cheap. You have some of it where you can kind of see through it a little bit, just like the real stuff and it is so well made by hand in the USA. So I'm super excited to have this collection. We will be adding to it um, as I can see that this sells well because it was a big investment to get these pieces, but I'm excited. So this is a one cup measuring cup. It's got ounces on one side in, in uh, increments and then quarter, half, three quarter, and one cup and it's even got a topper on it. I'm not really sure why your measuring cup needs a lid. You gotta look at the price. Maybe, the oh, this is $31.95, but it's amazing. And I think you could use this for like sugar with the lid on there. I think I just set all this beautiful glass on display. <laughs> One of the cool things that this company did was they bought the Fenton molds and the rights to use them, and they renamed it Giggy because it's their brand. So this is the Giggy stick, and it's actually named after the grandma because it's oh. a family-owned business. They call her Giggy. So this is the um, butter dish. It's thirty-six ninety-five. It's beautiful. Oh man, Look you can that. see the sun coming through it. At least and, over here you can. And then they also have the salt and pepper shakers. They are $29.95 and they're the Geeky Salt and Pepper Shakers. This makes me want to just go get some oranges and make juice. Make me some juice. Like a lot of juice. We have the juicer. I like that it has the little bowl in there. Like you don't have to put it over a pitcher or anything. You can just set it down, juice it and done. I feel like you've juiced, you're really falling asleep on. How much is that? Oh, <laughs> are we telling prices? Yeah, that's, that's the, $39.95. <laughs> I, well, that's the show today. We're telling prices. I didn't think we saw, did we tell prices on the handmade stuff? Yeah, every single one of them, except for maybe the, um, I think I missed that. The cutouts. The, the animals are $16.95 in case I forgot to tell you. All right. <laughs> and bowls. Mixing yeah. bowls, three. Are they microwavable safe? Do you know? Um, I don't know. We'll put it in the, we'll check the listing because I'm sure Christy did. $24.95. And then the big one is $37.95. This is $14.95. And the wee baby is $14.95. So I'm gonna be careful with these. Yes. Well, they're they're just really good quality. I yeah. love them. Well, they're not like easily breakable. I'm just being careful because they spendy. All right. Yeah, don't break them. We got the big mama hen, $36.95. Ta-da! And then and this then little the guy. Baby. So what are you supposed to do with this? What do you even put in that? Is it just for looksies? Mints. Little oh, I guess teeny, you could tiny put a breath couple, mints. You could hide a couple little mints, maybe leave it on your nightstand with some Tylenol in there. For $15.95, you can put whatever you want in it. <laughs> I just love that they're made in the USA. They look like the original Jedi that you see out there that cost, you know, $100 for a juicer. It's crazy. Um, and it's a family owned company. So I'm super excited to be able to offer this. And if it's popular, I will add to the collection some different pieces. Yeah, they have. They have tons. I was going to say, I, I, when I was looking at the list, I think it's in the hundreds of items. Yeah, I try not to spend $10,000. Yeah, she, tr she tried not to. I'll have to All look right. at the bank account. <laughs> <laughs> is this a perfume no. sprayer? What is this? I forgot. It's a plant mister. It's $9.95. I'm looking up the clothes prices while you 
It does make a little puff of air. It's like pss, 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 pss. Well, yeah, it's supposed to you put water in it and you missed your plants. All right, collections. <laughs> Let's find the clothes while you're misting yourself. I really just love the shape of it. Oh, you can hold, there we go. Now I got the program. You put your finger in the hook and you just use your thumb. You got your little succulents, making sure they're nice and moisturized. Just in time for the red, white, and blue, we have these new Americana shirts. They're like a raglan style. I think this one is the oh, I like X. like that. It's soft. XL. It's coral and blue, so a little different than a traditional red. And this is like a waffle knit. But you get the soft. vibe. Like the coral just looks like a muted red in this theme. There you go. Ready for 4th of July. We also have the shirt that I'm wearing that I already have paint on. Um, um, you should have seen the struggle. We were painting those core I washed this like She got times. paint on her shirt like six times. She's like, I can't have paint on this shirt yet. We haven't showed it. I haven't shown it. So $22.95 for this shirt and that shirt. Both of them are free shipping and they go up to an XL. And then a cute dress. This is a dress? Yeah, and it has pockets. Man, don't let Odelia see it. She's not allowed to wear that. It's, it goes to my knees. Sir. I'm teasing. I'm like, it's not short. You're just really tall. I like her to wear full length dresses. All right, this saying. is $32.95. Let me try it on over the top of my shirt. This is also a dress, I'm guessing. Look how cute this is. I actually want to wear this to dinner tonight when we go out for Ty's birthday. Okay. It's comfy. You know what? With your shirt on and the collar, I can't even tell. Like, there's almost no transition. It looks transition. like it was made for that. Uh huh. All right. So this dress <laughs> is cool. I actually haven't tried these on all all of them yet. So this is a small here. What size was that that you small. just tried on? Um, this one's twenty seven ninety five. It's like a polka dot, polka dotty rayony type. It's like material. a fun skipping style dress. You could definitely skip in this one. Now you guys, I have a shirt on because uh, this would be a whole different kind of show if I was changing without an undershirt. So I'm gonna look a little bit different on. This one is a little bit more form fitting. I'm usually a small medium, but I think I might size up to medium in this one. And it could also be because I have an entire outfit underneath. I was gonna say, you got some extra But this one's layers. clingy, so size up if you need a little extra room for cookies. And also a small. Apparently I was thinking small. Let's see how this one fits. This one's cute. Let's see. Oh, well, this one's fine. I like the ruffly sleeves. Obviously you wouldn't wear a leopard underneath it. It's hitting you just above the knee. It's got I little... think the leopard underneath is perfect. <laughs> it's next level. Hey, animal prints are in. I mean, again, if I wasn't wearing jeans and a t-shirt underneath this, you'd get a little bit better fit. Let's see how much this one is. I buy these things, but I don't really know. And this one is $29.95. All the clothes are free shipping, by the way. These are, these are $22.95. Free shipping. I just need a nap, a Diet Coke, and a million dollars. I don't drink soda, but the first two are the, 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 the first and third option are really, I'm, I'm good with both of those. All right, so I'm wearing a medium, which is what I normally wear in graphic tees. Zeb's wearing an XL, and I would say that fits you. So they're definitely good. unisex. They're not women's fits. I actually don't drink Diet Coke. I'm a Dr. Pepper drinker when I drink, but I know so many people love Diet Coke. Oh man, Diet Coke is like a lot of people's go-to drink. It's like a religion. Like if you're on Team Diet Coke or Team Diet Pepsi. My parents are Diet Pepsi people. And one time we were going through the drive-through and Harrington was offered, well, we only have Coke. They were like, is that okay? And Harrington looked right at the drive-through machine and said, no, Coke is not okay. I only drink Pepsi. Because <laughs> my parents always told them, you only drink Pepsi. Yep. So comment below, are you a Coke or Pepsi or not a drinker? <laughs> <laughs> I fall under the milk and juice and water category. That's pretty much. I actually did just have some Diet Pepsi delivered for my dad today. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, we hope this was fun for you guys to see all of the new things that we have, some of the handmade products that we're working on. Be sure to hit up jrvhome.com for everything that you saw today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jay Marie Vintage for more DIY. Bye guys. <laughs>